you you did talk about the eight years. How did that reunion even? How did they even take part? Because are you saying that all those times from when they they got signed, had you seen them and had connections with them, or or was it just high high or? Yeah. So um, obviously, in the beginning, it was nothing because there was a major hurt there and a confusion that I have yet to explain why, right? And so I would say once I connected with as yet, uh, my heart, my soul was even able to um, have a dialogue, you know? Oh. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and then I would, you know, speak to Nate periodically. We'd run into each other, you know. Um, and it was interesting because it was on a different playing field now, too, you know. And so um, I remember my 40th birthday. Uh, Nate gives me a call and wishes me happy birthday. For the first time in, in all those years? Well, no, 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 no. I'm okay. saying... No, over the years, like I said, it was a touch and go. What's up? What's up? Da, 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 yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. That. Um, and he wished me happy birthday, and then I said, "Man, you know what, dude?" I said, "We should." Get, I said, "We should do this. We should get together." And he was like, "Yo, that's a good idea. Let's, you know, let's talk about it. Let's figure it out." So I, they, I think they were. They were recording the 20th, I think the 20th, uh, uh, celebration of 20 years, something to the, I, I think something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when I connected with them. And we came up with the idea to do the, um, the residency uh, in Las Vegas. And that was uh, 2012. Wow, so that's the four of you. So there was this agreement that the four of you would actually, or they would yeah. do it, and you just guest appearance, or yeah, yeah. And it was, it was like, okay. First of all, you know, they used to have four, four for harmony. Yeah, um, Mike's no longer there. He had been there for like ten plus years, mm. and you would be surprised it was that long, right? That they had <laughs> and so, um, so now that they. They needed they needed the fourth harmony, but at the exact same time they were doing okay without it. But it was preferred, mm -hmm. and um, and you know we were all juggling the idea of, of just coming together, you know, and uh, we were trying to figure out what would be the best way that it didn't seem so abrupt and awkward. So we came with the idea of doing the uh, the, the the residency where um, I would come out as a special guest, so that everyone saw us you know come together and that turned from one year to eight years wow <laughs> you know and then they, again total blessing because in between that we did a uh, spot dates like major television howard stern more in america whatever different things like that um yeah yeah it was it was it was pretty pretty cool even more so because it was so like psychologically and emotionally healing, you know? Mm. It's, it's like, here, I get to address being 18 mm. and losing out on an opportunity. And I get to cry with my guys, you see what I'm saying? And, and deal with that discussion, you know? What the happened, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> and, um... You're talking about closure because, mm -hmm. you know, again, like you said, you in the audience, you're looking at, damn, you didn't get to be with boys to men, damn. And all you could think is what you think, but it's all on the surface. And that is so understandable. It really, yeah. really is. Yeah. But without you hearing from me and giving you the, the, the details, filling in all the blanks to the puzzle, you wouldn't know that it's so much deeper than that surface mm -hmm. thing that we're talking about you know and then for for god to say hey okay you've had enough here you go let me let me let me give you this too you know that's how i looked at it 
Yeah. And so to be able to get on and say, can we go back to the days of love? To sing that every night, knowing that it was a hit record that I didn't get to be a part of, it was it was like, ah, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful for eight years. Beautiful. Wow. And it ended with the pandemic? Pandemic knocked it out the box. Yeah. And so um, when the pandemic, I guess you would say, is, was over, um, you know what I mean? Over yeah. where we could start performing again. The um, The journey of getting back to even performing was very tough for all of us. And... Um, the residency just wasn't happening. You know, the industry changed so dramatically for even entertainment, especially in the biggest market, um, that they didn't get that residency back. Boys and Men are now doing, you know, they're 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 full throttle on doing shows. And, and then me and Nate, we talk quite a bit. Um, you know, and conceptually, you know, we're I got a feeling like the story's not over, but I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, because in our in our discussions, you know, I'm not going to reveal too much, but in our discussions, yeah. you know, we, we talk. We're just kind of like, man, you know, everything with us is like, let it just happen organically. Yeah. Whatever that is. Right now, I'm in the middle of film school. You know, I'm learning how to direct my own films. I'm acting, uh, working on the material as a solo artist. So again, it's, 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 it's the journey continues. Now I saw that you was, were back with us yet a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. I saw on there. So how did that reconciliation happen then? You know, we've talked about the boys to men reconciliation, but I, as I said, I think a few months ago, I saw you on the, as yet, Instagram feed saying, yeah, we're back. We're going to we're perform yeah. it. What, so what happened? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So um, me getting with As Yet again was what I needed the same way with Boys to Men, closure. Hmm. As Yet was my salvation. And, and I, and I want to be careful as to how I'm saying that. When I, when I didn't get to do a voice in a minute, Asia came along and saved me in so many words. And um, and I was able to do what I love to do on a very high level. Mm -hmm. And then when we fell apart the way we did because of the reasons that we did, you know, we tried a few times to come back together to heal that. Mm -hmm. um, it never got healed. And this last stint um, I truly went in to heal that, you know, because I have total closure with Boys to Men. And in doing so, um, I have to chalk it up that there are certain cases where you have to leave well enough alone. And for whatever reason, the energy in the universe is saying, Mark, this is not it. Mm -hmm. I tried so hard. I really did, you know. Um, that's really, that's really all I had. Oh, so as officially, so you're not, so you guys aren't as, you're not back with them anymore. I'm not with Hazard anymore. Okay. And, um, and, I'm going to I'm going to preserve you know throwing any shade mm. I'm going to preserve what I know is you will never see me with as yet ever again it's a wrap yeah okay but yeah. the brief reconnection was that helpful for what you needed to do for the closure yeah in a huge way yeah okay. because, because let me be specific with this you have a brand called As Yet, and this is for anyone out there who's doing what they do. Your brand is more valuable than the money you will ever make because the brand helps you make the money that you have. And so As Yet laid dormant, the brand, for years. 
Ajet is a brand that there are millions of fans who love the group, even yeah. with the two records. And so a spade is a spade. And what I mean by that is you don't have Drew Hill without Cisco. But you don't have Drew Hill without the group either because Cisco would just be a solo artist. Mm. So it goes both ways. There is no arrogance or ego or conceitedness. I don't think I'm as yet alone, but you're not as yet without me. You have to look at it in business terms on his face. Mm. And so they tried by themselves. I tried with other members and it's not what it's going to be without certain members, me and Kenny, in that group. I tried to make that happen because how sad is it that you have a brand that could really take care of you financially, especially in these times mm. um, that you're not using. So I went to make that work. I called Sean. I mm. called I didn't call Daryl this time, but I called Sean. It was Dion Kenny. So at least you had four of the members potentially that would be in this group. Daryl was just completely out. He's different life. He's done. Mm. Sean bowed out. Said no. Dion tussled with it. He's out. So it's me and Kenny. So and so I'm thinking, okay, great. Well, at least at least I have the two lead singers, me and Kenny. So we build around us. And then um, I was able to get it to a place where you saw some performances. Mm. And then it just tanked in terms of internal, unresolved uh, issues that um, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over 100 artists that we've interviewed. So please check out the videos. Remember to like, share, honor, and subscribe. But better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching. Take care.